Hello, my Style Squad angels. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and to anyone that is new here. Hello, my name is Christy. I am a personal stylist that helps women rise to their highest and best self through style, and I'm super excited to have you here. Today, we are going to be talking about the top wardrobe mistakes that women make. Now, I wanted to do this video because when I am going through closets with my clients, if I'm doing some shopping for them, there are common things that come up in our discussions when we're chatting about their style that I thought would be kind of cool to talk to all of you about. And I think that most of us have dealt with it at some point or other in our wardrobes and in our style. Now, the first mistake that I've seen women make is that they save any of their special occasion or evening pieces for only special occasions or evenings. Now, I know all of us have been there. You buy these great shoes or you buy a fun clutch or you buy some jewelry that you're going to wear to a wedding or to a gala or you're going to wear it to a party or whatever. And you feel great in these pieces. You love them. They go with your outfit for that night. And then they begin collecting dust after that evening until you have a reason to wear it again. Now, this is actually one of my favorite things to do with daytime wear is to bring evening pieces into your look. Even if you're wearing something as simple as jeans and a t-shirt, or maybe you're wearing trousers and a t-shirt of some kind, adding something as simple as a clutch with that look will help elevate the outfit and make it a little bit more fresh. It'll look modern. And that juxtaposition between something that's evening oriented and then bringing, in it, bringing it into your daytime wear just makes makes the outfit look a little bit more cool. It looks special and it just creates a really unique vibe to your look. The same thing goes for uh, evening shoes. So if you have some great strappy sandals you bought or maybe some cool sparkly shoes, whether they're metallics or they've got glitter on them or whatever the case may be, bring those puppies out. Again, like they're so cool for the daytime. Even if you look to the uh, fictional character Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City, you know, she always wore her fancy Manolos or she wore like whatever evening inspired item and she would pair it with incredibly casual pieces in her daytime look. It always looks great. And again, it's that juxtaposition that just makes the outfit look a little bit more interesting. It's a really unique twist to help elevate very, very basic items in your closet. And again, it will give you more wear and versatility out of those special pieces. The next wardrobe mistake I've seen women make is that they get the wrong undergarments. Uh, the power of the right bra and underwear makes all the difference in the world. Now, I tell my clients that if you have everyday bras that you rotate, those should be replaced. Ready for it? every three to six months, ideally. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, what? I've had some for years. <laughs> and you know, it's like, I get it. So it, this will depend on how many bras you have currently in your collection or in your arsenal. The fewer bras that you have and the more you rotate them, the faster you're going to need to replace them. So as you start wearing your bra and it's at the outside clip, the more you need to bring the band in because it's stretched out or same with the shoulders, the more you're going to, or that's an indicator of how soon you need to start replacing your bra. If you're only rotating, let's say two or three everyday bras on a regular basis in your wardrobe, then getting them replaced on the three to six month mark at a max a year is going to make all the difference. It'll make sure the breasts are lifted properly. They're sitting properly, which will completely change the way your clothing looks on your body. The same goes for underwear. Be mindful of what kind of underwear you are wearing with certain types of pants. So if you have something that is fairly lightweight in terms of fabric and it's a little bit more body con around the hip and bum area, just make sure that you have a thong on or some kind of seamless underwear just so you can't see your undergarment through what you're wearing. It just ends up killing the way that the outfit looks if you can see panty lines come through your outfit. I know not everybody loves a thong, but they're so great for that reason. Uh, if you want one that's really comfortable, I highly recommend Hanky Panky. They are phenomenal if you've never given them a go. Spank Banks O also has some really great like shapewear and undergarments if you want to look into their things or their products as well. But get yourself or pay attention to what kind of underwear you're wearing with what garment because it'll just make your outfit look more flawless. 
The next wardrobe mistake that is a big one I've seen women make is getting items in your closet that don't work for your lifestyle. Pinterest and any other resource you look at for style inspiration is wonderful. It's great to feel inspired. It's great to, you know, get an idea of what it is you like in your closet. But before you start going out to purchase these things, ask how some of these items that you're putting on your shopping list, ideally, how they function for you in your closet. Where do you spend your time? And this may seem like such a simple tip, but it's something that goes frequently overlooked. I've had so many conversations with women when going through their closets and they'll tell me, oh, you know, I bought these heels or I bought this blouse or I bought whatever X, Y, Z thing because I really love it. And like, you know, it was really inspiring me, but like, I, I never have the opportunity to wear it. It doesn't work for me and my life. So, you know, take some time, jot out, where do you spend your time? Are you uh, running around everywhere, whether it's for kids or errands, or maybe your job just requires that you're on the move all the time. Are you someone that's sitting at a desk and you need more business casual? Uh, are you someone that, you know, depending on what you do in your day to day, that if you buy a silk top or something in a more delicate fabric like that, are you going to be petrified of wearing that piece in thoughts that you may ruin it so much so that that item will just remain hanging in your closet if you end up getting it? Or are you purchasing heels, let's say, for example, that are very high, but realistically, you don't really wear heels anymore. And maybe it's something that you've seen a picture that you really like the vibe of, but maybe you're someone that's more comfortable in something that's closer to a kitten heel or no heel at all. Now, it's not bad to be inspired, like I say, but you wanna make sure that you're putting your dollar in the right place and that it's functional for your closet so you actually get to wear and enjoy the things that you buy. The next wardrobe mistake that I have seen women make is that they buy something too big in an attempt to hide the things in their body that make them feel self-conscious. I get it, it can be easy to stand in the mirror and pick at ourselves and find something and laser focus on something that we don't like about our stomach or our body. A stomach in particular is something that a lot of women tend to feel conscious, self-conscious about, their tummy area. And I've seen a lot of women when I go into their closets buy something that's shapeless and super boxy and oversized in an attempt to conceal that area of their body. But the reality is oftentimes when you get something that is oversized, it actually can take away from your shape. And because it's oversized and shapeless, it will actually have the opposite effect on your silhouette that you're wanting. So rather than hiding and concealing and kind of giving the slimming effect, it actually looks oversized on you and can make you look over, sorry, because it's oversized, it will make you look oversized. So rather than it being something flattering and something concealing, it can really detract from your figure. It can detract from the look you're trying to create for yourself and won't end up making you feel beautiful, which you deserve when you look in the mirror. So although Although it may feel counterintuitive, you actually want to get pieces that follow the lines of your body naturally. So again, if you have a waistline that kind of goes in like this at the side, you also want to find ideally shirts that kind of taper in and give a little tailoring in that area as well. If you are self-conscious about your stomach, let's say for example, I do have a full video on how you can hide your tummy area if that is something that really bothers you. So I will leave the link for that video description down below. And in general, if you are not sure about how to dress your shape and you want to learn what's most flattering on your figure, I do have an online course all about how to dress your body type that has three hours of content, a workbook that'll show you and give you examples of the things that you can purchase that'll look really beautiful on your body with lots of celeb examples as well. It's a good course. I'm very proud of it. So I'll leave the link for that down below in case you're interested. The benefit of knowing your shape too is that it will not only give you more confidence and clarity when you're shopping, but it does have a very slimming effect. So if that's something that you are self-conscious about, then it is a really beautiful thing to learn and experiment with for your body. Not getting alterations. You want to make sure you alter the pieces that come into your closet. I try and tell women this all the time, but it is that 90% of what you find in store or online will not fit your body off the rack. So it is worth not only number one, asking yourself before you buy something, am I willing to alter this item to make it look perfect on me? But then also following through and actually altering that item when it arrives at your doorstep. You know, having your jeans hem to be the correct length will actually make your legs look longer. If you have a lot of bunching around your ankle, it'll actually shorten the appearance 
of your legs. So if you're petite on top of this, this is something really to be aware of. Or if you have maybe a dress that's a little bit too big along the bust or the shoulders, take the time to get that piece altered. When you have something that fits you like a glove, it not only makes your body look banging, but it will also really boost your self-confidence because every time you slip into that piece, you're going to look in the mirror and think, damn, I look good. I promise you, promise you, promise you, alterations are worth it. They're usually less expensive than what you think, and you'll get twice the wear out of something because you've altered it and it fits you beautifully. Then the last wardrobe mistake I'm going to talk about today is the fact that we settle. So there's many occasions where we've run to the store on a last minute occasion, or maybe we're shopping and just get frustrated because we're not finding what we like. And then we just end up buying something because we just couldn't find what we were looking for or can't seem to find the fit that we want. It's the one thing that I say over and over again is that you can definitely find what you're looking for just because you're not finding it in the immediate future while you're out shopping for something specifically doesn't mean that it won't eventually land in your lap. Settling for something will just ensure that you're going to build a lot of clutter in your closet and probably won't wear that item because you're gonna put it on and look in the mirror and feel lousy. But if you hold out for that piece, that piece that fits you beautifully, that piece that maybe you wanna alter or the piece that you love the color of, you love the print of, like whatever the case may be, you're gonna get so much wear out of it because you're gonna be excited to put that thing on. You're no, you're gonna feel yourself shift into a better and higher vibration because you're just feeling more on in your clothing, right? Because clothing definitely has a power behind it. It's, it makes us feel something. It makes us feel more confident and stand taller when we've got something that not only represents who we are, but fits us beautifully. So hold out for those things. You're worth it. Don't buy something short term that you feel ho-hum about that you're going to end up wasting your money on. But also, like hold out and save for the item that you know brings you excitement, that's going to bring you versatility, that's going to just make you feel fabulous when you look in the mirror. Anyway, my angels, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that little red subscribe button down below. And other than that, my style squad, I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.